my motherland. I'm so happy to be in my motherland. We have reached Kiev, Ukraine, and upon arriving, we've discovered that it's a little difficult to get around because everything is in Ukrainian. There are no signs in English. We even picked up a map here, and everything on the map is in Ukrainian. So we are here for five days. Um, we don't really have any plans except going to Chernobyl, which and, is in a few days. And a few flea markets. There's some cool flea markets here. And we found a vegan restaurant super close to us that is very cheap, so we'll probably be heading there every single day. We've been here for about an hour right now and we found three hats, pretty awesome. Uh, Giselle found a sweet little sailor's cap. <laughs> We're number one cap. <laughs> and I found an awesome Rolling Stones hat from the uh, 95 tour, which is a really good year for the Stones. shopping here at the, uh, the flea market bazaar. We had no idea how inexpensive it was actually going to be. And I found a really pretty cotton Indian top about 15 or 20 cents. Pretty awesome! Also bought some hats, some a pair of jeans and a pair of shorts. And I think we maybe spent probably under five dollars for everything. We just came to the market and Vigano Hulagano, which is right over there, is closed. So we decided to come to the place right beside it and they have a ton of vegan options as well. I got a Israeli falafel. And I got a seitan pita sandwich thing. And go wrong for $2. April 26th, 1986, the number four reactor at Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded. Over 100,000 people had to evacuate from the surrounding towns, and sadly, many people died of radioactive exposure. We are at the school right now, and these are the results of a nuclear meltdown. Everything is completely abandoned.
Ukraine, goodbye to the motherland. We are taking off now, we're off to our next stop, which is Tel Aviv, Israel.